Hey everybody, have you seen those videos where girls talk really, really softly and they do things like touch fuzzy uh, lamb skin or stuffed animals or explain how to do origami but they talk really creepy like this and people like it. It's, it's like HDFD, HGTV. I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm gonna stop now because I'm creeping myself out. Someone tweeted me this week, and I didn't favorite the tweet, so I can't credit it. Sorry, dude. Asked me, hey, I've always wanted to write, but I have no idea where to start. Can you give me advice? And I was like, boom, video done. And I have so many profound things to say about this. I always had a problem getting started writing myself before I started. It was intimidating. It took years to even pick up a pencil. And then I played Diablo 3 all week. That was probably not as good for profound thoughts, but while I was playing, I thought, hey, the process of being creative and starting something new is kind of like playing a new video game. But then I thought, hey, there is an analogy to be made about the construction of how to learn a video game and learning how to do something creative in a really super cheesy way. So do it. So that's what I'm gonna tell you, how to, how to break into something creative, whether it's writing or whatever, um, following sort of the structure of video games. Number one, do the tutorial, okay? And that means learning how the process of something because unless you enjoy the process of it, you're not gonna ever keep with it. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody wants to write a book and I want to say I wrote a screenplay or made a movie or you know, sculpted a pot. And the problem is unless you wanna wake up in the morning and do the work of making that, you're never gonna stick with it. What you do is get some books. Read about other writers, right? The two books that I recommend are called Bird by Bird by Annie Lamont and If You Wanna Write by Brenda Yulin. Um, those books are amazing and kind of humanizing the whole process of writing and showing you that, hey, this is work, but it can be awesome if you just stick with it. Okay, number two, start at level one. You're not gonna be like, hey, I've got level one linen armor, I'm gonna go attack the, the end game boss. L you're gonna be burned to a crisp. So never, don't do that. Don't set out day one and be like, I have a five um, novel epic fantasy tome that I want to do. And it's due by Wednesday. The way I did this was that um, I did um, daily writing prompts. So every day I would make myself sit down for 10 minutes, just 10 minutes and go like, okay, write about the childhood toy that I had. Or, hey, write about someone who really pissed me off yesterday in line. Or 15 types of fruit. Just doing that trains your brain to think creatively and outside the pattern of what it you normally does. And if you do it every day, you're starting a habit which probably might pay off or maybe not, but you'll feel self-righteous for the rest of the day. Number three, once you understand what the world is and start out and get your training wheels off, why is the FedEx truck here? Oh, is it for me? Group up with other people. It is so easy to feel better about yourself when you can complain to other people like once a week or once a month or something. I mean, that really is the core of everything, support group kind of situation. And I know support group sounds really super cheesy, but think of it as a guild. You're joining a guild of creators. You could do this by taking an online course. I took like an online extension course for short stories that I never saw the teacher or any of the students, but I kept doing the course because I paid for it and I felt guilty. Or you can look at five of your friends and be like, hey, let's all set some goals and every week just say, what did you do this week? What did you do this week? Okay, let's drink beer and play D&D. &D. Once you start working with other people, it becomes so much more fun to share what you've done that week. Shut up, dog. Number four, know yourself. What kind of player are you? What kind of class do you want to be? What kind of game do you like? Maybe you don't like action games. Maybe you like RPGs or first person shooters or strategies. I mean, Everything about creating things, especially, is knowing yourself because creating is showing your own truth. And you have to do a lot of homework because sometimes we think we're somebody and we aren't. That made no sense. The best way to figure this out is by journaling. There's a book called The Artist's Way and I did that several times over the last several years just to get back and start digging about who am I really outside of all these other things that everybody wants me to be. And if you journal three pages a day writing about yourself and whining, even if it's like, I don't have anything to say, I don't have anything to say, I don't have anything to say, I've done that. It totally makes you realize, oh, I actually do have something to say and I want to say it, whether it's with writing or pottery or dancing or whatever. Number five, once you got all those other things done and hopefully have a daily habit of doing whatever it is you want to do, um, set the goal and do it. If you're gonna beat the game, beat the game. You're gonna have the best armor, do it. But 
Um, set the goal and make sure that every day you're working, even if it's a tiny, tiny step, you're walking towards your goal. I am not the fastest writer, but I've gotten in the habit of sitting down in one hour every morning, whether it's I do five words or five pages or 50 pages or five tweets about, you know, birds screaming in the back of my video. Like, <laughs> I do it every day and then I feel guilty if I don't. And that's when you know, hey, I've hit the jackpot. I actually need to be doing this. Put your hand down. And the biggest thing is just finish. And it's not going to be good. Just write the worst thing ever, but the sense of accomplishment of like, hey, I did it. I have something that I can work with and make better. That is the core of being creative. No matter how good or bad it is, you're doing it for yourself, and that means that it's worth doing. I would not be here today unless I was brave enough to jump into something that was super scary to me. And quite frankly, every single t day that I do something creative and show it to people, I'm nervous. Even this video, I'm like, you're too earnest. It's not funny enough. Nobody likes you. Um, well, I gotta do it because unless I say something about the world, I don't know if it's worth getting up in the morning. Was that depressing or inspirational? Alright guys, so nice talking with you. I hope this uh, experience is valuable to you and if you pick up a pen and start writing because of anything I've said here with my very loose video game analogy and creativity, let me know. Uh, I'd really love hearing about it because I love to inspire. And I really, really hate talking like this.